Hey, I got a question. Are you thinking about buying a house? Well, here are five things that can help you big time. Yo, what's going on everybody? This is your boy Marcus Murray. And I'm here with my lovely wife, Shira Murray. And we're here to share five tips for future home buyers. The first one is to decide how much you can afford and not to let your lender do this for you. Just because you might be approved for X amount of dollars doesn't mean that it's going to line up with what you can actually afford and your financial obligations that you may have. So it's really important to make sure that your mortgage payments are less than 30% of your take home pay. Number two, stick to your guns. Shire, you know, I love watching HGTV. And one of my favorite programs is My First Place. Now on this particular show, you'll have a couple or you'll have an individual that's looking to buy a home and the realtor begins to show them different homes. Now this customer has a certain budget that they want to spend on a home. And every now and again, the realtor will show them something that may be 10 to $15,000 over budget. You wanna make sure that if you're going to spend X amount of dollars, you stick to that. There's a certain thing called buyer's remorse. Sometimes, you know, you may purchase something and months down the road, you're like, you know what? I overpay for this. That's something that you don't wanna experience, especially when you're buying a home. Tip number three is to have cash reserves. It's really important that you count the true cost of home ownership. When you're leaving a rental situation and you're purchasing a home and something happens, say the roof starts to leak or the toilet overflows in the middle of the night, you are the one who is going to be stuck with the cost. So don't spend your last dime or all your money just to get in the house because you'll have to have some reserves so that you can maintain the house. Tip number four, eliminate debts. So this is gonna include credit card debt. If you're working to pay off a car or a student loan, go ahead and knock those things out first before jumping into a new home. And the reason for this is because if you eliminate those debts, you'll be able to potentially afford more house and it will allow you to put more on the principal because you'll be able to take money that you were previously paying on credit cards and you can throw it onto your house and you'll be able to knock that debt off faster. Sean, you know, that's a good segue to tip number five. You might want to consider putting 20% down as opposed to your more traditional 3.5%. A good reason to consider putting down 20% is to eliminate PMI, private mortgage insurance. And what this insurance does is it protects the lender just in case the buyer defaults on payment. Yeah, and PMI can range from 0.3 to 1.15% of your loan total. Let's say you purchased a house for $300,000 and the PMI is 1%. Well, 1% 1 of 300,000 is 3,000. And that's $3,000 that you would have to pay to insure your loan. And when you break that down by 12 months, then that totals $250 that you have to pay and it serves you no benefit whatsoever. You know, Shire, these are things that we didn't know when we purchased our first home. We just knew that we wanted to pay as least as we possibly could as a down payment because, you know, we were just kind of starting out. But now that we've gained this knowledge, uh, you know, this is something that we wanted to pass on to you guys. Uh, so I think tip number five is, is, is a really important tip and it's something you know, that you should shoot for something that you should work towards. Yeah, so let's just take a moment to recap the five tips before we get out of here. So tip number one is to decide what you can afford and not to let your lender do this for you. Tip number two, stick to your guns. Tip number three is to have cash reserves. Tip number four is to eliminate debts. And tip number five, considering putting 20% down as a down payment. Hey y'all, we appreciate y'all checking us out. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Be sure if you haven't already to subscribe below. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. And not only that, make sure you click on the bell right there, that little, you know, bell icon, because what that does is that'll send a notification to your phone every time we upload a video, which is something we plan to do every Monday. Thank you for rocking with us. For Marcus Murray, this is my lovely wife. Shira Murray. And we are black. Married and, and debt-free. Debt